Good morning everyone, it's really good to be sharing with you again. I hope you're keeping well. Now today I want to talk to you about this guy here, Prince Harry. Can you see it? I know what you're thinking. It is like looking in the mirror, apart from he's younger and suave and richer, cooler, oh and he's a prince. So apart from all of that, you are looking at the real deal right here. Prince Harry's been in the news quite a bit recently. He's just had a baby daughter, um, but also he and his family have exited the royal family for their own health and well-being. They've decided that's what they need to do. In line with that, I've been reading some of the Old Testament uh, and particularly 1 Samuel. And in 1 Samuel chapter 8, that's where the royal family of Israel begins. Uh, Saul is anointed as king. It was never God's intention that Israel had a king, uh, but the, 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 the Israelites insisted that's what they wanted, to be like everybody else. And God graciously allowed that to happen, and Saul was chosen as their first king. And in 1 Samuel chapter 8, you read how Samuel um, anoints Saul as king. And it's really interesting, in, that, in a couple of verses right at the beginning where Saul is anointed, three amazing things happen to Saul. Uh, in verse 6, it says, the spirit of the Lord came upon him. So God's spirit was with Saul at his anointing as he, his first moments of being king. Secondly, the second part of verse 6, it said he was transformed. And as you read further on, you see how Saul's life is transformed immediately from the point where he's made king. Thirdly, in verse 7, Samuel tells him to go and do. So he's commissioned to go and do in God's power. And it really reminded me, when, when we become Christians, when, uh, and I want to encourage you with this, when we become Christians, if we've accepted Christ into our lives, we have that anointing from God. And God does the same things to us that he did to Saul when he became the first king of Israel. The Spirit of God is with us. Um, we're transformed. We may not feel it sometimes, but we are transformed by the working of his spirit with us. And thirdly, he tells us to go and do. In his power, we are able to do so much more than we can do in our own strength. So I really want to encourage you. We often find there's reflections of the Old Testament in the New Testament. And we see that here with that anointing that comes from God, that transformation, that commissioning. That's where God really comes into our lives. And sometimes we can forget that. Sometimes we can lose touch with that. But always know that is what God has done for us and continues to do for us through our lives with him. Hope that encourages you. It's been really good to share with you again. God bless you today and look forward to seeing you again soon.